Hello, so in this video we're going to look at the pattern of ionisation energy up going across a period and also down a group. So just a reminder, the definition for ionisation energy is the energy you require to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms in the gaseous state. So here I've got a lithium atom and a neon atom. So these are the two either side of the second period in the periodic table. And from the data booklet, I've taken the first ionisation energies for both of these atoms. So if you wanted to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of a lithium atoms, you would need to put in 520 kilojoules of energy per mole. And if you wanted to do the same thing to neon, one mole of neon atoms, you would need to put in 2081 kilojoules per mole. So that's a big difference. So from this, you can see that as you go across period, the ionisation energy increases for an element, the first ionisation anyway. So what we're going to do now is explain that. So in previous videos, I've said to try and imagine atoms as magnets. So you've got a positive charge in the middle and then the negative charge is circling around the outside. So the opposite charges are attracted to each other. So you're thinking, trying to think about what could be causing a greater attraction between those two opposite charges. So going across a period, we're still in the same number of occupied energy levels. So that's not making any difference. So it's always to do with nuclear charge. Now, if you're trying to remove electrons, if you have a bigger nuclear charge, then that's a bigger attraction on the electrons, so it's going to ha be harder for you to remove them. Therefore, more energy is going to be required. So because as we go across the period, the nuclear charge increases, it becomes increasingly more difficult to remove moles of electrons because there's a greater attraction of the electrons to the nucleus. Therefore, you need more energy to remove them. So going across a period, more energy is required to remove one mole of electrons due to an increasing nuclear charge. Okay, so now we're going to look at the pattern going down a group. So I've picked lithium and sodium, so they're um, in period two and period three of group one. So out of the data booklet, the first ionisation energies you'll get for lithium is 520 kilojoules per mole and for sodium it is 496 kilojoules per mole. So from this we can see that as you go down a group the ionisation energy or the first ionisation energy decreases. Now to explain that, so here because we're going down a group we're getting increasing numbers of occupied energy levels. So how does that then affect the amount of energy you need to remove one mole of electrons? Well, this is where we're going to talk about something called shielding. So shielding is an effect that happens by inner electrons, so electrons that are in the inner shells, and they shield the nuclear charge from the outer electrons. So when you are carrying out the first ionisation energy of these atoms, you're removing the outer electrons Okay, so these ones here, these are the ones being removed. The nuclear charge that these outer electrons experience is shielded by the inner ones. So there's negative charges in the middle here, shielding that positive charge that they're actually attracted to. So the more inner shells of electrons you have, the more of a shielding effect you'll get. So the nuclear charge isn't as strong. So even though sodium actually has more protons in its nucleus, so therefore a bigger nuclear charge, because it's got increased or more occupied energy levels, that nuclear charge is actually shielded. So this outer electron actually isn't as attracted to the nucleus as it would be if, it, if there was less shielding and it was closer. Okay, so when we're explaining the trend in ionisation energy going down the group, you're really looking to explain how increasing numbers of occupied energy levels causes an increased shielding effect. So less energy is required to remove the outer electrons because they're less tightly held. Okay, because that nuclear ch uh, charge attraction has been decreased, there's not as much of an attraction for the outer electron you're trying to remove. 